Ann Coulter is a columnist and author of Adios America, as well as many other books, and she joins us tonight. Ann, thanks for coming on. So you have Thank a... You. Great piece uh, on Lindsey Graham, who won the 2016 Republican nomination, as you know, <laughs> and as a result of that, has a right to impose his immigration views on the country. How did that work? First, I want to say, boy, Donald Trump is right. These dreamers are fabulous. They're great. They're fantastic. I can't wait for them to be our fellow citizens. Um, and yeah, I mean, I think everybody's wondering, where did Lindsey Graham come from? Who nominated him? to be negotiating this. He ran for president. Um, he got literally zero votes, um, was the first and, and most vicious in attacking Donald Trump, the candidate. So how is it that he's the one in this? Uh, why does he have a, a seat at the table at all on immigration negotiations, much less, you know, he's the leader of what the Republicans stand for. And, you know, as I say in my column, it does make a any any normal observer think the fix is in. Why are other Republican senators allowing this? If it had been back during the Iraq war, um, Republicans wouldn't have allowed anti-war Republican Chuck Hale, Hagel to go and right. say, oh, he represents our views on the war. We're going to send him in. No, they'd say, no, not him. Don't talk to him. Um, why is the media talking to him? Why is the president talking to him? He doesn't represent us. But the donors want the cheap labor. I mean, the one thing, Tucker, that's going to be fun if we, if we lose this um, is is watching all of these short-sighted, idiotic businessmen um, try to do business in a country run by the likes of Kamala Harris and Nancy Pelosi. Yeah, that will be amusing, uh, but sad for the rest of us. So, but but if there's a deeper question about democracy here. So, if the public has been clear in poll after poll about what it wants and what it doesn't want on the question of immigration, and it went to the trouble of electing Donald Trump against all odds and all predictions. <laughs> Just to express that view, and it still can't get what it demonstrably wants in immigration, is it possible for the public to have a say in this? No, it's amazing. I mean, it, it is beyond what you just described. I was looking through Nexus transcripts today. The fact that Donald Trump is president, it, it was utterly implausible. It's like a Hollywood movie. And this isn't the first time. I, I mean, you keep hearing these phony polls being cited by the media showing that Americans love dreamers. They love them, just like that one you interviewed. Who couldn't love her? Um, they love them. But every time they have an actual ballot, every time for 20 years now, they will vote against bail for illegal against government services for illegals. They'll vote for Donald Trump. They'll vote um, for English as, as, as the national language. When they're, um, this Harvard poll that just came out shows more Americans would like zero immigration than our current immigration policy. But the way they, they pull off these phony polls is by, I mean, I didn't read, need to read Saul Alinsky to know that this is not a good way to take a poll. They personalize it. They say, oh, do you want to deport Juanita the maid? They're, they're, they, they make it about a specific person. No, I want questions like, do you want more or less immigration? Do you think people who break the law should be able to um, become citizens and start collecting welfare right away? Um, do you think we should be dumping millions of low-wage workers on the country, which is going to come back. I mean, Trump may yeah. think he is he is a genius, and in some ways he is. He it, it has an uncanny sense for what are popular issues. That's why he won. He may be able to roll over the never-Trumpers, but if he continues down this line, former Trumpers is going to be a much more difficult category for him. You just think in a democracy, you can't ignore what people want forever, or else you're going to get a pretty bad backlash, I think. And thank you for coming on. I appreciate that. Thank you.